Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Scorpio Down, and today is the vendor reset. Uh, quite a good week this week. There's six or seven items worth looking at, and the first one's hey at the vendor in the Haven settlement. So you can see it's this 511 holster. It's got armor, hazard protection, armor regen. You can change the armor to weapon damage. Optimizer has a protection and armor regen, and it would fit nicely into a backfire build. Uh, next piece is at Roy Benitez, so I'm just going to run over to him. I'll pick you up there. So, the next item I'm looking at here at Roy Benitez is this Fenris chest. So, it's got weapon damage maxed out, it's got headshot damage, skill haste, and braced. It changes the skill haste to crit damage or crit chance and you've got um, change the optimizer headshot damage and you've got a great chest piece which will fit nicely into a big horn build uh, with the 45% weapon handling as the big horn when firing isn't the most stable of weapons uh, next few items are all in DZ uh, so I'm going to pick you up when I get to the campus here we are at the campus and the item I'm looking at is this Cheska holster. So it's got weapon damage and crit damage on it already. Change the repair skills to crit it chance and optimize the weapon damage and the crit damage. And you've got a great holster that will fit into any DPS build. Uh, there's a couple of items at the clan vendor. So I'm just going to jump to him now. So the two items that are on sale at the clan vendor that I'm going to suggest this week is this Tabula Rasa. Uh, as you see, the LMG damage is quite high. It's got damage target out of cover. Uh, Changes the swap speed to damage to armor or damage to health. And then you've got perfectly steady handed. That's you get a 1% or hits grant a stack of 1% accuracy and stability at 75 stacks. It consumes them to f refill the magazine. Even though it's only got a magazine of 30, it helps with the reloading. So you can keep firing. Once you've got 75 stacks, you get your magazine refilled. So every, approximately every two and a half magazines and then the other piece is this negotiator's dilemma mask weapon damage is fairly high uh, headshot damage is fairly high as well but you can change it to crit chance or crit damage if you want and you'll have a pretty good negotiator's dilemma again which would fit into a dps build um, last two items are DZ East and DZ South, so I'm going to travel over to those two places and I'll pick you up um, when I get there to show you what I suggest this week. Here we are at DZ East, and to start off with, it's the Hollow Man Mask. As you can see, it comes with armor, health damage of 10% maxed out, and explosive resistance. Change the explosive resistance off for damage to armor crit hit crit, crit hit chance crit hit damage headshot damage however you want to run it and then you can optimize the armor and you've got a pretty decent Hollyman master if you're looking for this this one is definitely worth looking at if you haven't nailed now to get one and if you've got enough dz credits now we're at DZ South for the last item. Nice. And that is the Door Kicker's Knock. As you can see, it's got weapon damage, headshot damage, critic damage, and perfect spark. You could change the headshot damage to skill damage or critic chance, depending if you want to run a hybrid build or not. Um, however, it does say. With perfect spark, damaging energies, dam damaging enemies with a skill increases total weapon damage by 
for 20 seconds. So you get quite a buff, but without 15% damage or extra 15% damage. So it's it'll work really well. Um, and you, as I said, if you want to run a hybrid build, you could put the headshot damage to skill damage. Otherwise, just change it to crit it chance, and you'll have a great door kicker's knock. Um, they're my picks for the week. I'll be doing the Cassie Mendoza vendor reset video tomorrow. Um, thank you for watching. I hope it gives you some ideas uh, if you want to uh, visit the vendors to see for yourself what you've got, just in case I've missed anything. Um, if I have, please comment below so it can help other people. If you've seen something that you think is worth bringing up, uh, again, thank you for watching and thank you for all of your support so far.